Guys, it's hot as fuck. My hair looks flat. I have to end the stream, guys. My hair is not up to standard. I have to end the stream and start all over with braids. So it was great seeing you guys for a few seconds, but uh, I have to go because my physical appearance is not on par today. I'm sorry, y'all. See you guys later. Edward. I'm just kidding. I'm just kidding, y'all. It's me, dude. Oh my God. Holy shit. I was like, it's not that hot outside. It's not that bad. I thought it was going to be a lot worse. No, it's fucking hot, man. I've only been here for about five minutes. I'm sweating. It's fucking hot. It's hot as shit. Stop that negative self-talk. Okay. I'm the best, man. I'm the best. Um, bro, I wasn't wearing headphones. Go wear some headphones. It's hot as fuck. How hot is it, how hot is it where you guys are? Dude, oh, we're going to get to the shade because even though we're at the spawn point, it, it's just too much right now. It's fucking hot as butt. It's hot as butt, bruh. Where are you guys from? Where's everybody in? How's the temperature where you're at currently? Uh, check it out, man. I was, I was like, you know what? Maybe I should start every uh, live stream with exercise and then use the actual equipment here. But then... The more I stayed outside, now we're five minutes in. It's hot as hell, man. Oh my god, bruh. I'm fucking sweating. Uh, 100 and plus today in California. I don't, rem I don't necessarily miss that, but it's just as hot out here, if anything. Yo, this hair, these glasses. The, the hair and everything just looks uh, fucking retarded. I can't say that. I can't say that. I almost got canceled. Retardido. How is that? Is, is that is that enough of a variation? <laughs> Does that make sense, yo? Oh my god. Too handsome. Uh, doesn't the bandana make your forehead sweat? Yeah, but it's part of my brand. It's like t trying to ask me to take off my head. I'll blind everybody with the third eye. You know what I mean? I gotta figure out something to do with this, man. Jesus. Is that, is that better? Bruh, I don't like it. <laughs> I don't like it, whatever, it's hot as fuck. I don't care anymore, dude. You know why? Because I don't have to worry about Flip. You know, I was thinking, the more I'm dismissing Flip from my life, the more I could be free. You know what I mean? Like this would be a fucking problem if I was trying to attract a Flip. And I'm like, I don't even need it. I'm crusty as hell. Dude, we're going to find somewhere to readjust my hair, though. I don't, I don't like how it looks on camera. Homeless, crusty, hot guy. The, the true bohemian flavor. And then they spend a night with me. And I'd be like, hold on, let me pay for the sushi. I'd be like, what? You got money, boy? I'd be like, yeah, baby. The place is utterly empty. Prague is fucking empty. I was like, I don't really want to go to the city center. It's going to be too much. Look, there's no one here. This is the emptiest I have ever seen a sunny day in Prague. The clouds are beautiful. The sun's out. There's no one here. There's no one here. What in the world, man? It's empty because it's too hot. Because I'm around too handsome. Is that why? Because too handsome. Yeah, I'm hoping that, like, my phone won't overheat because it usually does. It's like actually biting me. <laughs> Jesus Christ. Yo, dude. That dog literally bit me like four or five times. <laughs> <laughs> I just I just kept going dude <laughs> that dog bit me like at least five times man yo y'all telling me Pierre you should get a pet you should get a dog no wonder you're not animal guy for fuck's sake dude literally I was just rolling by bit me five times I'm not a hum I'm not a human being person either because humans bite me four to five times did you guys see that 
you were totally unbothered. Yeah, because I've been I'm used to it now. You know what I mean? If that was the first time that happened, I would freak out a bit, man. I'm not gonna lie. I'd be like, oh shit. Did you guys see it? Did, did I frame it right so you guys could see? Okay, good. Uh, I'm sorry for you getting bit. <laughs> That'd be a lawsuit in the US. Did you cut your hair? No, I just like, I've been trying to adjust it, but the thing is when you roll on the wheel, it just moves into like a ridiculous shape. Yeah, you saw the dog, okay. Yeah, dude, I'm just trying to live my life, man. Be like, Pierre, you attractive. <laughs> get, dude, literally like, getting, getting stung by bees, getting screamed at, at at people, getting barked at by dogs, man. And I don't antagonize any of this other than just with doing my thing, dude. Dude, he says, Zaya, you missed it. A dog just bit me like four times, man. Oh my god, do I need to visit? No, it, it didn't It didn't like bite bite, it, it rather just nibbled on my sock and like teeth kind of hit my leg a little bit, nothing, there's no punctures or anything, man. Uh, some, some dogs are activated by movement, it has nothing to do with love. It's not, it's not his fault, it's yours. <laughs> Always, dude. Okay, hold on. I need to find a place to actually fix my hair somewhere. I'm gonna loop back around and get a bench. Woke up with a little nibble, right? Your fault, I know. <laughs> you know what's funny? Like, here's the thing, like, it was chasing me. It was the longest time I've ever been chased by a dog. And imagine if I just kept going and then the dog just like followed me all the way like <laughs> if i just left the park and the dog was still chasing me please flip the like button if you like uh me getting chased by dogs or at least that was entertaining if that if that portion was entertaining please flip the like button uh up here you should have kicked no i'm not kicking no dogs bro it's always my fault when it comes to anything especially animals Pierre, you instigated the dog by being there. My bad. I won't do that next time. Oh, I'm gonna fix my hair. Dude, hold on. I wanted to go there, but then there's too many people when we're staring. So I'll go a little, a little further. The dog represented uh, people trying to tell you how you look. I know, everyone's just always complaining at me even even animals dude uh this full chase by a dog or bitten by a dog okay, all right i'm gonna fix my my dome piece see i'm trying to at least get it so it's like facing forward you know what i mean uh how long is your hair down? Can we see? I teased it too much so you won't even see the extent of it. Oh, shit. What a great way to start it off. Is everybody stream working or do I have to fix it again? Am I having stream issues again? Hold on. What the fuck? Cardio. It's all good. Is it, is it doing that freeze thing? Do I have to go back home and then change it again? I fucking hope that's not the case. Okay, I, I, found, the, I found the culprit. This angle is the worst angle to shoot myself at as well. Hold on. a bit better refresh and exit and enter okay smoking that smoke hey guys uh if it's freezing every few seconds again i have to go home and then fucking fix the damn thing again so so let me know if it keeps freezing because then i have to go <laughs> all the way back to the flat i have to change a little setting on the fucking thing and then we have to go back out smoking that smoke It's not every few seconds yet. You sure? 
I fucking hope so. No? It works? Okay. Is it too hot for my phone? The thing is, if I stay in one place for too long, it can definitely be too hot. So I kind of have to keep on rolling. Keep on rolling. Oh, dude, don't tell me I forgot. Did I forget to bring extra juice? I make sure I triple check everything. Oh wait, I think I got emergency juice. Do I got emergency juice? Today's the day. It's been a while since I've been outside streaming again because it's hot as balls or it's thunderstorming. Fuck yeah, emergency juice. Be emergency juice, LMAO. Yo, I can't believe that dog thing just happened. That's the first time it's ever fucking happened, man. Because here's the thing. That dog wouldn't... If I stopped, it wouldn't have ended up well. Because if I stopped, the dog would have just, like, chewed me out. You know what I mean? And just, like, rip apart my socks, puncture my calf. So I had to keep going. But I had to move slow enough so I didn't run it over. Pierre, get a dog. Pierre, go out on nature, bee sting. Pierre, get a dog, get bit. Pierre, just, it's your fault. What happened? A dog was chasing me, man. Uh, that dog was one kick away from death. He ain't a threat. Don't you realize, though, that people care about dog lives more than humans? Kick the dog, he'll leave you be. No. People would be more outraged on the behalf of the dog than on my end remember dog lives are bigger than human lives come on y'all buenos dias sf if you guys just joined in the room a uh, dog just chased me and bit me in the leg a few times and now we're gonna go and explore empty ass prog because there's nobody around because it's hot as fuck crusty lives matter oh thank you very much shiba dog in samurai armor thank you big tonka appreciate the donation we're living in a mad world. Yet yeah, animal lives hold more value than human lives. I know. So that's why it, I had to be careful to not to not fuck shit up. You feel me? Okay, so as you can see, ain't barely anybody out here. And I'm rapid. I've always been rapid. Rapidly savage. Bombastic, iconoclasmic, clitoclasmic, coming to back street, going to the back, to back, back, to 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 back, so, I was thinking of maybe hitting up Petrine Hill. I honestly have no plans. I don't really know where to go, to be honest with you. So be patient with me. I must have a gig. I'm just going to avoid animals and people. <laughs> Smoking that smoke, doing that coke. Don't forget cars, humans, animals, everything, and bugs as well. Anything under that umbrella, I'm gonna basically avoid because I'm too savage for this life. I guess I'll go this way. Doing no flip. No, no, read. Yo-Yo Factory? New hobby again? Should I pick up yo-yoing? 
you know what's crazy there's a bunch of like uh hobby like really specific hobby stores out here i think they're closed though but you can get kendamas and yo-yos and frisbees oh there's also a boomerang professional yo-yo shop Ooh. yeah the thing is i don't really yo-yo so <laughs> i couldn't exactly go there and then just connect immediately just gotta keep moving Oh, it's hot as fuck. Yo-yos didn't die in the 90s. Oh, I'm telling you, everything with that was popular within the 90s is still alive here. People still roller skate. People still yo-yo. People listen to dark wave music. People listen to rock music. <laughs> and that's why probably somebody like me does fairly well out here because I'm still kind of stuck in the 90s. I'm crying, I need to move ASAP. Like ASAP Rocky? ASAP Pocky? Let's see if I can get through here. Guys be zooming. <laughs> that is freedom, I know. ASAP Pocky, dog. <sighs> the thing is like this uh unicycle is basically like an air conditioning or a fan everywhere i go it's, it's not even close to as hot as it would be if i were to walk I'm trying to think the best course that i can take Squidward. People, it's a city with no people is so peaceful. No, it's crazy. I thought it would be extra, extra crowded around this time, but there's barely anybody outside. It's hot as fuck. Oh, whoa, look at this outside art installation. This is, what's, this is what's really cool about Prague, other than everything that I've shown you all the time on any of these streams. <laughs> the fact that they generally just have these outside art exhibitions. So what is this? Student exhibition. Installations. Little, little Lego figure. Oh, is this the universe trying to mock me right now? I really, the first painting or whatever you call this that I run into is a fucking dog. Wow. Bruh. Why? Yeah, with a number one on it. Just like rubbing it in my face how much better dogs are than me. Like, really? Just, okay, let's go ahead and put a dog art installation in front of me with a number one on the head. See, people are like, Pierre, why you always play victim? Why you always play victim? Have you seen my streams, bruh? Really? That's really cool, though. Yeah, these are really cool, man. I like these. Ooh. 
Whoa. Hey, these are g genuinely really awesome. Considering how a lot of contemporary art, especially photography and things of that nature, these are these are nice. These are very aesthetically pleasing. Whoa. I like I would hang this stuff in my room, man. I'm sorry, I'm supposed to respect contemporary art. Art is not decoration. Whoa, here we go. Okay, this is creative as hell. I like this. This is a crosswalk, but it's done very in a very abstract manner. It's called COVID-19 because it's empty. Creative, man. I like this a lot. This one's cool, but it's a, it's a little obvious, but I think it's good. Scola Michal, something like that. Here we go. I feel like this would be a cover of some SoundCloud rapper. No flip. Here we go. Hey, this is the most romantic depiction of the pandemic I've ever seen. I like it. I think it's dope. This is really cool. Yo, man. All right, I'll, I'll post the information for wherever this school is in a second. These are really awesome. Damn. Here we go. How do you feel about that? Yo, imagine this in somewhere in America and how quickly this would be Karen'd. Put the castle right there too. Badass. Skola Mika? Okay, so I think if you want to look it up, look up this here. All right, now we're in the graphic design section. Can you stop mocking me, universe? Fucking hell, let me live my goddamn life. Why is everyone always trying to tell me what to do, bruh? Fuck. I was all on point, too. I was, like, really appreciating the work. Fuck the rest of this, man. I'm out of here, dude. Everyone's just trying to mock me out here. What's up? Are you from the shooting? Yes, of course. Yeah, what are you shooting? The TV show for Tuscan Television. Awesome. And we can do interview with you if you want. Let's to. do it. Let's okay. Do it. Can okay. I can I also have somebody like hold this real quick? Oh, yeah. Is it okay or no? Yeah, we can stream it. Yeah, for me it's okay. Yeah, it's okay. Yeah, it's okay. Yeah, it's okay. Yeah, it's okay. Thank you. Yes, welcome. Okay? Yeah, okay. Yeah, okay. Yeah, okay. Yeah, okay. So 
first question is like, what is your job, and if you think your job gonna be like take over by robots? Okay, interesting. That's a great question. I am a content creator online under PRXO, so I make YouTube videos, I make music and art, and it's all online based. Like I'm actually live streaming right now. So luckily, I'm in this very small portion where my job will basically be okay for a long time. <laughs> so uh, I mean, especially during the whole pandemic thing, everybody's on the internet. So I'm out there as a face with a personality. And un I mean, fortunately, robots don't really have personality yet. So until they get personality, then my job is on the line. And what do you think there is like a global thing you are afraid of? Like, what are you afraid of in, I don't know, in the future? Uh, it would be really bad if the world went under a giant pandemic where everybody was under lockdown and every country went through a giant protest and the world changes overnight. But I think we're doing that right now. <laughs> the wor Anything worse than that is probably if a giant meteor came from the sky and crushed the song. So we should be okay, I hope. Thank you. Yeah, of course. <laughs> Okay, and can you say just to camera like you are okay with the GDPR thing? Uh, uh, like, name and uh, like name and, and, and I agree with this. Okay. So. Yeah. Thank uh, you. My name is Pierre XO and I'm okay and I agree with the agreement that it's out here. <laughs> <laughs> thank you. So yeah, thank you. Thank nice you. to see you. Yes, again. great. Bye. Send me a message. Okay. Yeah, sure. And when is this going to come out? Like in March 2021. So, March 2021. Yeah. Okay. Do you want to give everybody the info of your Instagram or whatever this okay, is? Okay, sure. Uh, this is going to be on uh, TV in Česká televize. It's, uh, the, the, the TV show is Futuretro. It's about future and the retro technologies. And yeah, um, just watch it. And my Instagram is now allowed. We'll see you there awesome bye thank you future retro huh oh yeah that's awesome well i have a lot of insight on it so let me know if you need anything else sure. <laughs> ciao everybody thank you very much that's good now ciao What is my life? <laughs> they had to get me when my hair looked like this, dog. <laughs> I mean, like, it was like for future retro. What is like, could I have not been the perfect candidate for what they asked? <laughs> what the hell? So don't hang up on social media, man. Well, I'm gonna cross over here because it's hot as fuck. I knew you were thinking about your hair. Yeah, man. I was like, dude, what the fuck are the chances of that, man? Pierre, that was crazy. I know. You know, you know what's wild? Like, if I'm out alone, sometimes these things happen. But every time I have the camera out, the craziest shit goes down. What the fuck was that? That was insane. So I was in a music video with her, and the right place at the right time, again. Huh? <laughs> Synchronicities, dog. <laughs> like, what the hell? Dude. What the hell was even that? Yo, if I told this story to somebody, they'd be like, Yeah, sure, Pierre. Sure that happened. Trying to, I'm trying to get through. Okay. Anyways. Yeah, she's she's really cool, and uh, she's a host for a few shows, I think. And <laughs> you guys liked my answers. There's a synchronicity of the energy field surrounding me. Yeah, I got bit by a dog, and then that happened. What the fuck? Out of all of the interview questions, why why like the most appropriate? future retro what do you do you think your job will be taken over by robots i could have not thought of a better question for me ever like i could have not even uh, begin to imagine a better question the dog in the social media poster 
right every time I turn on the camera too. It, it's really strange, man. It was laid out. I know, man. What the fuck? Like, w w like what? That was the perfect question. I was like, they're gonna just ask me, um, Pierre, what are you doing in Czech Republic? Do you like living out here? What do you do when your job taken over by robots? And what are you worried about? What's the worst thing you're worried about the world? The universe wants to see cool stuff happen in life. Yeah, I guess, right? What the fuck? I gotta look back at your comments. Flip. He's the robot. This only happened with Pete. Anyways, yeah, that was a... Uh... It, it, it's funny because they ask if they know Snapchat accounts were designed and creates a robot to post snaps like a person. Really? I can feel that special energy. The universe gave me a week and a smile. Eh, dude, the, when, when these like, events occur, what, what's really crazy is that usually a few... The, the previous event links up with it. So, for example, I saw... I saw the, what's it called? The, the fucking, uh, the, the billboard, the art piece that was saying like, get off of social media, which is technology related. And then after that, it just happened, you know? I'm like, what are the damn chances of that? It was like, get off social media cam over it. And then I got a, somebody just with a TV crew randomly. <laughs> just like, what the fuck? Oh my god. They couldn't have picked a, a more future retro person. <laughs> Look, I'm dressed like I'm from 1995 holding a, a stabilizer with a selfie stick on an electric unicycle, dude. Like, what the fuck? The most cyberpunk dude that they could have found in Prague. I'm sorry, it sounds like a flex, but it's true. You know anybody else in Praha that's even remotely doing what I'm doing? <laughs> it's fucking crazy. I should have said my name is Pierre. I don't care. Future rep, future retro represent. The Illuminati is real, dude. I know. Like what the fuck, dude? I hate the hair. I hate the fucking hair. It's really bothering me. I gotta be like, gotta get it so it's. Hold on. Robert, in 90s Robert Smith on a wheel. I know. Like, so fucking weird. Smoking that smoke. Doing that coke. Man, your life really changed on your last birthday. You living in a whole movie. <laughs> I know. Dude. Man, I guess I'm meant to stream. That's just like, I'm not, I'm meant to do streaming only because I mean, what are the fucking chances of that? Shit. Are you guys even like surprised anymore? <laughs> when, when shit like that happens, are you guys even surprised anymore? entertained should do a messy bun like a little less messy i know but i already scheduled my hair to look like this here let me braid your hair if you can somehow make your way out here bruh Should I just rebun it? Should I just do a typical bun at this point? What do you guys think? I'm just like chilling on the sidewalk. <laughs> I look like an insane person. Yeah. Okay. I have so many bobby pins here, dude.
too handsome. So this thing's going to be aired in next March. Fuck, man. That's why I'm a goddamn YouTuber, bro. You miss my braids? I miss my braids. Bro, what the fuck, dude? I need my braids. I'm getting my braids done tomorrow, by the way. <laughs> I'm getting my braids done tomorrow, so please just uh, accept what I have. Accept me for me, please. <sighs> dude. In the, uh, let's make it a little, a little pompadour, a little more. Anyways, so what was I saying? I forgot. I was gonna say, I was gonna say something. I don't remember what I was gonna say. Oh, I was gonna say like, <laughs> if they just like. When that segment is done, I'm just gonna look like a random time traveler from 1995, and I accidentally, I accidentally ended up transporting to 2020 in the, the worst pandemic lockdown government social political situation ever. <laughs> it's like, oops, 2020, fuck. And my hair is all fucked up and I'm trying it looks like I'm trying to find my way back to the time machine but uh, the after the lockdowns and the elections and stuff they trashed all the time machines and I'm like guys what do I do what do I do at least give me some fucking volume out here I look like a mushroom now dude I should have said I've traveled by timeline by mistake I'm not supposed to be here I know I could have made I could have made a way funnier answer I think it was good enough because I didn't want to like make it look like I was taking the questions too sarcastically I wonder how many hay babies will you get today dude I, I do one different thing with my hair than I get hit on by straight men all over the damn place it's crazy okay well, so um, we're unintentionally near one of the parks let's go and visit it for a second and we can move on I'm starting to get nostalgic for the 90s best days of my life don't worry the 90s are still there they're just on a different timeline oh shit my caramel skin glows nice and caramelly Carmelo cyber retro croissant troll Look, you're a star, I know. Soul Train, brother. You know it. I feel like if you guys have been following the streams for the last however amount of time, I think every decade for 400 years might be there somewhere. But it might be where. 90s never die, just evolve. I don't know, man. The vibes are different nowadays, for sure. On the soul train, I was born by the river in a little time machine. Na -na 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 -na. A flip gone come. Not for me, though. Please flip that like button if you guys are utterly shocked like I am so far. The synchronicity is high because you opened up my new life. <laughs> or maybe I'm just losing my mind. Maybe I'm just losing my mind. 
are the roads all cobblestone almost like this is a bit more asphalty but yeah down here you will see cobella zooming up on this bitch like this wow. Dude, I'm, I'm thinking about that experience more because I just overanalyzed shit. But how interesting is it that me, me and her were basically doing the same thing, but in two completely different approaches. So in her case, she has a whole TV crew. She has to wait for the production to uh, end or it's going to air next year, next March. And on my end, it's just me <laughs> and a selfie stick, but it's the same exact thing. I opened up a new dimension again. Da, 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 da. So I take this entrance because I've seen twice in a row police officers and the other one. So we're gonna go ahead and take a different route. I wonder, is this lead downstairs somewhere? Hidden. Hidden. Oh, this is makeout zone, bro. Oh, thank you very much, Zappa Zoe. Just for making my day by reminding me the 90s still exist. I am the most 90s character. Uh, I got a bunch of these stairs to. <clears throat> Fuck. All right, guys. Hope I don't eat shit. I did that without dying. <laughs> I can't believe I just did all that without dying. Damn. Alright. Make sure these kids don't like me. Squidward. Oh, dude. Should I practice nunchucks in the dojo up there? It's too late because I'm already all the way down here. Fuck. I think I have to walk up the stairs though. Agility course. Dude, okay. All right, guys. I usually don't walk upstairs, but I feel like this is the, this is gonna be the course to become reborn as a monk, a celibate monk on top of the temple, swinging nunchucks around. You guys ready? It's calling you, Bujetta Lee. Here we go, dude. <laughs> what is my life, dude? <laughs> what the fuck am I doing? <laughs> what the hell am I doing, dude? Oh, this is this is like a mountain to, to climb before you meet the, the monk to give you uh, insight. Let's get down to business to defeat the Huns. I did it, y'all. I did it. Oh, fuck. Okay. It's not over yet. I got one more K, one more stair. Oh, look at the view, though. 
Oh, they're playing James Brown? That's not James Brown. I don't know who that is, I forgot. Ooh. Yo, <laughs> why is Prague so random? Why are they playing soul? <laughs> I got soul where the capital is. Oh yeah. Fuck my life. Oh my god, there's chairs up here. We're going to the dojo. Wonder which one's gonna be a better view. This one's got a bit more more flavor. Which one? Thank you very much, the Shadows Cat. I like this one. Oh yeah, bruh. I got so where the capital is. I just realized I see waiters down there and they can see me, so I'm trying to trying to stay a little bit hidden. I just met eyes. I just made eye contact with somebody down there. <laughs> this is the dojo, man.
Look at this. You come here for what? You come here for answers. The answer you see is not the point, but rather the question. What would you like to know? You have one question and one question only. What is your question? Do you have one or not? For you have made this trek on top of Flip Mountain. And now that we're here, please make it worth a while. For yours and my time is valuable. For time is only a construct. To flippeth or not to flippeth? I cannot answer your question. I can only show. Got a whole family coming up here. I'm gonna ruin their vibe. No more swinging nunchucks up here, unfortunately. What a beautiful place, indeed. Don't hit that table or one of those chairs. Master P got skills. Yes, indeed. Is this the Musashi? I am the Flip Sashi. It was fun while it lasted, indeed. Dude. I could go up there. Hold on. <laughs> Yo, how crazy would a shot be from down to the bottom to the top swinging nunchucks? <laughs> Fuck. Okay, when they leave, that's gonna be the shot. family's vibe or is the family ruining mine for we are one and it is both simultaneously scare them away somehow with nunchucks it would be perfect we do have a plan indeed is called Flip Mountain. <laughs> Imagine if the family flips out the chucks and they challenge me and then I slaughter their whole family and lineage.
fuck, that was sloppy as hell. <laughs> I, I need to warm up, dude. That was, that was probably the sloppiest fucking thing, and it was on flip, the top of Flip Mountain, too. What has unleashed in Flip Mountain? Imagine passing right in front of a fucking weirdo. I know. That's why I'm more. That's why nobody's around because I scared him off. I hear Hollywood calling my name. That's right. I left it. I don't need it. But well done on the stairs, Pierre. Thank you. Sloppy on Flip Mountain. That's right. That's the way they prefer it, apparently. it up there though. Let's go back. This is a good view. <laughs> Look at this beautiful place. What is the way of the peaceful warrior? To come to terms with violence where it is unnecessary. For true peace can only exist with the controlled competence of violence itself. Look, my friend. This peaceful, peaceful, <laughs> this peaceful setting was only possible due to centuries of violence. And it is our job to prevent it from occurring again. Drinking that wine. <laughs> Just look at this. Drinking that wine. Hey guys, look at this wine yard. Drinking that wine. Wasting your time. Smoking that smoke. Doing that coke. This is going to be the uh, thumbnail. Why baby scream? Because 
Warrior XO is here. Follow me along the stairs of wisdom, for I have much to tell you. Dude, it's hot as hell, man. Luckily, no one's up here. I can just chill for a second. It's hot as fuck. Jeez. Making babies scream, one. Making babies scream. Dude, babies screaming. Dogs biting. People laughing. Cars zooming. The anti-flip lord. Pierre XO, master of the crust. With his warrior anthem, feared by nations all over the world. You are not alone. I'm here with you. Don't you fall away. I am here to flip. Not flipping. Vulnerable. It's hot as fuck. <laughs> it's not even one hour. <laughs> it's so much has transpired. How do I beat this stream so far, man? The next song. Smoking that smoke. Doing that coke. That's it. How's flipping out going? How does it look? <laughs> The definition of entanglement is when you're entangled in the sheets. What is the future of our civilization? If the pattern occurs, perhaps we shall see either a reborn or an apocalypse. And it is up to you to maintain the violence that resides within our primitive brains as human beings in order to provide peace for centuries to come. Only one hour and the activity has been maxed out. I know, like I don't even know what else I can do now other than flip. I got, I got people coming up right now. So I gotta pretend like I ain't doing, I ain't doing nothing too suspicious. I'm, I'm fighting for the reborn, the rebirth, the reborn, the one or the two. The amount of wisdom in this stream blows my mind. Excuse me, sir, that is not appropriate. What are you talking about? Of course it is. Is, uh, this monk Pierre is doing it for me. Are you sure? Look, my friends. This is only possible through centuries of violence and cycles of rebirth and destruction. Look. I can't laugh today. Everything hurts. That was enough exercise for today. <laughs> Drinking that wine, doing that time. So poetic. Thank you very much, Cinema Cole. For I am here to not flip. Is it the essence of flip, or rather the essence of the lack of flip? The concept of nothingness is what we lose ourselves in by filling it up with somethingness. For somethingness can only exist within nothingness, but we forget the existence of nothingness as the nothingness of flipping is always present. Pierre, are you? Smoking that smoke. <laughs> Dude, I, I literally, I, I kind of feel like a, a, a monk dojo master up here, man. I'm the only one up here, and no one dares to enter my territory right now.
Go get a massage, Pierre. I do not need a massage or to pleasure myself in earthly boundaries and activities. Only Pierre can make non-flip philosophical, philosophical. You're having a good day, right? A V-best day. For perhaps good and bad is only a construct, but rather what lies in between, the essence of the idea of good and bad is where we all reside. Just shave my head <laughs> right now. Pierre is not bound to earthly tethers. Other than your mom. <laughs> Snatch the pebble from my hand, grasshopper, Pierre. I have fallen for this trick when I was a young Padawan. It is not the grasping of a pebble, but realizing that it is not necessary. There's a parrot here listening intently to you. If you start repeating things you've said, do it. He vapes sautéed raccoon's arsehole flavor. Indeed I do, for I am only one with nature. Maybe I should get a drink here. I don't really want a drink. Shit makes me emotionally destabilized. The pebble. This talking is actually kind of hot. It is not the essence of hot, but rather if you would flip me or not. I remember here back in the day, during my first voyage out here to Praha, Czech Republic, I was introduced to hermeline, which is known as a pickled aged cheese. For the next two weeks, I have encountered God and Satan himself at once, for I was bedridden and in the toilet of my downstairs Airbnb for one week straight, doing things that should not be done with my rectum. I am no longer touching Hormeline, this aged cheese, ever again. As the old saying goes, shit happens, and surely the shit did happen, or did not happen. It was kind of built up inside really hurt my stomach. It is okay. I have learned from my desires that are based within earthly tethers, for I do not indulge anymore. Do not think large zin, gin with tonic and slice of lemon. God damn it, that sounds delicious. Fred, you say that one more time, you might proceed to receive a nunchuko to the earlobe. You are in a good place because shit only flows downhill. It's okay, apology accepted, Mr. Alfred. You say that again to me, huh? How do we untether ourselves? Flip until you can flip no more. For we can only learn the hard way. Smoking that smoke. Dude, I was gonna go all the way to Petrine Hill, but honestly, shit kind of sexy, man. <laughs> you know what I mean? Shit's sexy out here. I don't, I don't think I'll stay on him. Shit's kind of sexy, man. Dude, I'm fucking crazy, man. There's like a couple behind me. Dude, if I saw some dude that looked like me talk the way that I just did and then switch moods like that, I would think like, dude, yo, this dude is fucking crazy. I got fucking nunchucks. Maybe I should hide it because I don't want to at least come off like a threat, man.
the hard way. No boozy. I feel like I find a kindred spirit. Yeah, no weapon here. Yeah, don't scare the locals. That is just what it is. You are crazy. If I wasn't so handsome, then maybe I would be. But the fact that I'm too handsome makes me not. I'm just charmingly eccentric. Smoking that smoke. It is actually proven that a light beer doing sports is actually good for you because isotonic per properties. Thank you very much, Denise. You're lying. You just want me to drink. It's like crazy seeing the light break. It's like a part of your head is gone. I know. I feel really lonely. I'm getting them done tomorrow, though. Okay. They are safer within the immediate orbit of young Padawan, but they do not know initially. It is only until time occurs. For look, this is a sculpture that they made of young Flip Lord years ago when I time traveled into 2020. In the year 1369 is when they designed this sculpture of me meditating at the end of the platform. Back before the ages of cultural appropriation, where I tied up my box braids, sitting in lotus position. Before Prague was ever Prague. I had christened this location as where I reached Nirvana. I want a dojo. I want. How do I, how do I buy this place, dude? I like this. This is your dojo for free. You just gotta share with the locals. You're right. Got no way to still pull up. Do I have a bruise on my middle finger? Perhaps I do. What shall we do, my friends? Should we stay here for a bit longer? Or should we start rolling around? Because honestly, this is a really nice location and there's nobody up here. Perhaps I might get a drink, but I'm not even sure if I should because drinking's been slowing me down a little bit, but goddamn, it's a hot day, a little cold, little mojita. Could be kind of delicious. It's so pretty here. Yeah, maybe I should just chill. Yawn roses, I love it here. All right, let's just chill here, man. breeze it's nice and shady my dojo peaceful dojo let us stay indeed I gotta put some jewels in my seat Docs on thoughts on toxic carbativity thoughts on positivity well, I will tell you, back in the day, since we're in discussion mode, I had a phase where I was toxically positive. Like, it was obnoxious. And it was when I was 18 at the end of high school. And I might have been under the substance of a few psychedelics, but I was running around my school yelling the world is beautiful and writing the world is beautiful everywhere, posting Facebook statuses that basically say the world is beautiful and shoving it in everybody's faces and would acknowledge and would not acknowledge the social repercussions of doing such a thing. And uh, it also did not allow me to realize the nature of the world. 
which is equally negative and positive coexisting simultaneously. Turns out, by screaming at everybody that the world is beautiful, I isolated myself. I alienated everybody because it was fucking obnoxious. And I wasn't able to deal by the time I had to move houses into a, a smaller house, meaning the economic nature of me and my family were severely decreased and lots of things were taken away from me. And that during this time, I also had met a girl who was sort of into the rave EDM scene, being toxically positive as well. And turns out she was toxically positive because she was bouncing between me and another dude. <laughs> I fell in puppy love with this lady. Oh, thank you very much. Lenka, I feel like I have to get a mojito now because you just paid for a drink. And so I fell in puppy love with this lady, this girl, and she ended up choosing this other man or boy or guy. And then I realized, where the fuck the positivity at now, bruh? What kind of fucking beautiful ass world is this? What the hell, dude? No one would fucking explain this shit to me. I thought the more I thought the world was beautiful and then I just fell in love and then just gave everything that I fucking got to some chick and ended up bouncing between me and some other dude, some other man hoe and this shit. I was like, yo, what the fuck? No one taught me this. What the hell? I give up all my fucking feelings, time, energy, buying flowers, buying food, driving places, going to events and shit, and it's still not enough? What kind of fucking world is beautiful, positive shit is this? And during my most vulnerable, I left my ass, and I realized that the world was garbage. Because I was being nice. So then I, I reached the severe moment of toxic negativity for a very, very long time. Started my own band. Eye makeup came around this time saying, fuck the world, fuck Orange County, fuck this country, fuck everybody, fuck everything. And I started fucking everything too. You know what I mean? <laughs> Things then ended up looking too positive since then. I tried hopping back and forth between positivity and negativity, and it was overcompensating for each one. So the more positive phase that I would jump into, it would compensate in the next few months by being overly negative, and then overly positive for the next few months, being utterly disappointed, back to overly negative, and then back back to overly positive, and then back to overly negative. Like you could see it in my clothing choices. During my super positive phase to try to like regain some hope, I would dress like super 70s funk shit of like really, really bright clothes and stuff, like bell-bottom jeans, checkered pants and stuff. It was crazy, but hair was blue. Fuck yeah, man. Watching reruns of Soul Train, learn how to pop lock, made some funk music, did some shit like that. And then I realized that, what the hell am I doing? <laughs> Continuously dealt with society in a way where I was still re received negatively. If anything, the more positive and the more outgoing and happy that I was, the more negative that people actually received me or at least didn't take me seriously or thought I was a complete clown and joke. So then I just stopped doing that and I said, fuck the world again, which in a way even gained me the same, either gave me more respect or I'd just be treated the same way anyways. Then eventually, I just stuck with the negativity because it allowed me to understand the world in a almost practical manner to get me out of like the practically painful situations that I would get in rather whether it be having no money, uh, no opportunities, being stuck in a tiny house that my parents downsized in, getting heartbroken repeatedly, dude. <laughs> Fucking so many girls coming in and out just like getting fucked over i did some of the fucking over definitely but you know that was that was a compensation comp compensatory situation and then i was like 
I need to get the fuck out of here, man. I need to get the fuck out of here. So then I showed up on a viral video with a woman twice my age. <laughs> That's how I dealt with it from there. I, I ended up in a viral video with a woman twice my age saying that I was her boyfriend when I wasn't. And then everybody got really angry at me. And then from there, um, kickstarted the social media platform. Met a bunch of other beautiful individuals that were also emotionally damaged. And then worked my ass off. Fell in love, moved to Prague, got heartbroken, and now I am here in this beautiful location, Baraha, Czech Republic, in my own dojo. And the new Nanchaku anti-flip lord star is born. <laughs> Get a drink, man. Think energy, orange juice, and lemonade. Is that a mojito? <laughs> Dude, the thing is, if I if I drink, I'll probably get really sleepy and I'll get really tired. So let's not do that. But damn, that does sound delicious though. Sorry for the struggles. A metamorphosis is a thing of beauty. As they say, a caterpillar once in a cocoon ends up getting eaten forever. <laughs> if not, they turn into a butterfly or some shit. Some mate? The birth of self-awareness threatens other people. Exactly. For only we can receive self-awareness either through trauma or a shitload of psychedelics, bruh. You get, I get so lethargic sometimes. I get hit so nice, I can't go wrong with mojito. I think they serve food down there too, but like, man, <laughs> burn. Yeah, I'm probably gonna eat because I'm, I'm, I'm a little hungry. I faded out of many streams after one too many drinks. That LMAO get ends up getting eaten. So yeah, toxic positivity. Just make sure you have a balance. True positivity comes with the acknowledgement of the negative and real. You have emotional intelligence now. You transform into beautiful princess phoenix. Also living as a hermit self is so, helps with self-awareness. I did that too. I gotta go pee but I can't. What happened to your bladder? I can value now what's really important. I wouldn't enjoy the city as much as I do now if, I, if it wasn't for all this shit. You know, people ask me, why'd you go from California to, to Prague? It's like, why the hell did you go to this shithole? I'm like, dude, <laughs> fuck. I've been through a lot. I can appreciate the little things, you know what I mean? This is not a little thing to me. This shit is not a little thing to me. America is toxic as fuck. I agree. Balance, balance, balance. That's not little. I know, man. You gotta see the dark times, appreciate anything other than that. Oh, yeah. That's why I like that. Dude, I, I, I like so many things out here just because I appreciate the small stuff. You know what I mean? Like, a lot of people just get really normalized with the situation out here, and they don't recognize how amazing it really is in the end. America is just plain mediocre. In LA, you can only find this on a movie set and green screen. Exactly. There's nothing naturally like this in LA. If anything, you have to travel two hours and... Uh, traffic to get there. Prague is a long culmination of creation mode made for Pierre XO in this moment. That's a good way to put it. I can agree with that. That is the story of That's the glory of love.
But in all honesty, though, I really admire you for your emotional intelligence, unprejudiced way to look at a lot of things. I learned a lot from you. Thank you, Denise. I really appreciate it. We got another filmmaker here. I am bored. Bye. Okay, bye. Bye. LA traffic two two hours is optimistic. Yeah, that's true. That's very much true. You know, Prague is the birthplace of little Bo of the real Bohemia. Yeah, Czech Republic was known as Bohemia, and it, it evolved over time because of that. Crazy, huh? <laughs> Thank you for being vulnerable with us, P. We'd love to hear insights and experiences. It looks like they're going to film something here. Are you guys filming out here? And, uh, not filming, just dancing. Taking, oh, dancing. Okay, yeah, just yeah. let me know whenever you need me to move out of the way. Yeah, I can leave. Start so. at 6. Start at 6? Yeah. Okay, 10 minutes. Okay, no worries. Yeah, it's starting 6, but you can stay here. You can yeah, find yeah. A place uh, where, what kind of dance? What kind of dance? Yes. We started with Brazilian Zumba, if you've heard about it. Brazilian Zumba? Or? Zouk. No, 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 no. Zouk. Zouk. Oh, okay, yeah, cool. from Lampada. Awesome, nice, and then nice. we okay. have it for one hour, and then we have salsa and bachata. Bachata, okay, nice, nice. I'm more of a hip-hop dancer, but it sounds fun. <laughs> Where are you from? You live here? Or? California, but I live here now. California? Yes, yes. Nice. It's like this weather in California. Yeah. <laughs> I moved here, yes. I like it a lot. Um, two years ago. Yes, yes. I love it out here, though. It's really nice. The most beautiful place. I agree. <laughs> oh, I know. This is beautiful for everything. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. Do you need it? Oh, uh, no. I'm actually going to get some food downstairs. So. Have fun, guys, okay? Thank you. All right, see you later. ass in my language that's the kind of dance i'm good at <laughs> people are so nice and warm prague is a dream i've to seriously like i don't know why people say people out here are fucking like cold and heartless and shit people are amazing out here uh, so there's a lot of people sitting up here and sunny areas playing funk and stuff too is that food here let me see yeah. do you guys serve food here Hello. Hello. Do you, um, do you serve food? Uh, uh, just the cold food. You know, like just cold sandwiches food. or plates with the ham and cheese yeah. and stuff like that. Okay, okay. Yeah, sorry. All right, no worries. So you said sandwiches too? Yes. Okay. Um, if you are interested for it, uh, you have three dishes. Oh, okay. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Okay. Um, like vegetarian, something vegetarian, or I you really care about it? Uh, it doesn't have to be vegetarian. Yeah, but you know, I, I, I can tell you um, our best, it's a bit of dark bread, mustard, and uh, cucumber, or uh, cucumber, no. Okay. Uh, because okay. Okay. you're in this place. Sure. It might not be enough for now, but thank you very much. Uh, no problem. Thank you. I'll come yes, back one yes, day. Yes, yes. Thank you. Okay. Cheers. Cheers. Yo, dude. They're playing funk out here, too. I'll probably come back for a drink, but I I'm a bit hungrier than just for that at the moment. Just like a pickle sandwich? <laughs> I was like, oh, you like our pickles? <laughs> I was like, uh, we have some bread and some pickles only? I was like, okay, uh, but that might not be enough. Oh, uh, Pierre, when you're bringing the funk back. I know, right? Like, I just heard a bunch of funk music. It might be already here, you know? Is there... Oh, really, it must have been wild living there in the 80s. 
communism though. It wasn't wild in a good way. You know what I mean? You pregnant? I was gonna say a pickle sandwich. Might not be enough, man. I'm a bit hungry. I'll probably come back for a drink. Look at this. More stiz airs. Oh, fuck. Wait a minute. Shit. I'm stuck, y'all. God damn it. How do I... <laughs> okay, I have an idea. Oh, I can zoom through the grass. Okay. Um, fuck. How do I... Okay, I have to go behind her. Charger is supposed to be charging. Wait. Okay. So I got an electric wheel thing. Like you have it made me happy. Yeah. <laughs> you were serious about having enough exercise for today. Guys, do I have to tell you guys over and over? Do you realize how much equipment I'm holding to look up, up and down stairs? All these skateboarding. Skateboard? Influencers. Oh, uh, living in Frankfurt, not Prague. Oh, okay. Dude, everything in the 80s must have been fucking amazing. Okay, I think there's a restaurant down here. I don't know if they have food, though. Beautiful views. Yeah, it's a beautiful day in Prague. There's not many people out. I should probably pump my tire. That first staircase thing that I was rolling down was crazy. Did the dude just scoff at me? Do I have to fight someone? Uh, I think it's just... Only drinks. Fuck, I'm hungry though, dude. There's a restaurant down there. I don't know if they do food though. <laughs> I know. Some places just do only drinks. What do you even call that? Is that even a restaurant at, at that point? Go home and cook something, man. You Okay, so I should stop the stream, go all the way home, grocery shop, cook for an hour? No. It's inconvenient. It's called a bar, a sip-sip bar. But it's not... When I think of bar, I think of like crazy nightclub. <laughs> that type of shit. Okay, sorry y'all. Looks like I have to go cook food because someone told me to. So uh, thanks for joining everybody. I have to go and all the way home, go grocery shop, go all the way home, cook for about like 30 minutes and then eat it and then I'll head back out. So I'll see you guys later. <laughs> Cocktail lounge.
do it. Were you going to stream the shopping cooking? Do you realize how much more difficult that would be to like carry the backpack, the selfie stick and the unicycle and a basket to cook and find all the ingredients to put in and then to the self checkout aisle where I then have to put it into a bag and then carry it all the way home up a bunch of flights of stairs and then set it up so then I could cook it and then eat it and then leave the house under 10 flights of stairs again. We're collectively naming every name for a business that sells drinks. Uh, Alright, I'm gonna go, I need to pump my tire. You need to wear a helmet and hang the camera in front of my face. Hey guys, thanks for all of the, the most impractical suggestions ever. <laughs> Any of y'all's advice is like, Pierre, oh, just, I need to go across the town. Oh, just fly there. Just near him. Dude, always the most impractical. Wear a helmet and put the camera in front of your face. Go home and cook? What the hell? <laughs> Man. I'm gonna cover the third eye. Imagine me wearing a helmet doing this. That, I, that's where I draw my limit of looking like a complete dork, dog. Oh, I bought a... Hey, guys. I have a boomerang. What the hell is even that? Oh, guys, I can actually get food delivered. Oh, wait, I'm using my phone. Fuck, all right, can't do that. Uh, I'm gonna pump my tire, though. Daddy, chill. For what purpose? Why does everything have to have a purpose, man? I got a boomerang because it's fun. I unicycle because it's fun. I do nunchucks because it's fun. Y'all forget to have fun? All right. Angsty Pierre coming out. I need to go back to the dojo. Uh, where the hell is the little... Where the hole at? I can't find the hole. Time to pump fuck guy. Nice and plump, bruh. Oh. All right, it's getting harder, harder. Is it hard enough? Yeah. That's how hard I like it. Mm. All right, where the fuck's a fast food restaurant? I just want a baguette or some shite. I'm hungry, bro.
Malo Stranske Namiesti Jordan Fast Food. That's really far from here, though. We all know how he gets when he's hungry. You won't like me when I'm hungry. <laughs> It actually looks like a stupid Zumba trainer. What is? What kind of food? Oh, dude, honestly, just something fast food that I can carry around. Where is it? I think there's a cafe. Oh, I think. It's probably better to go to a restaurant. I need to find a place that also can maybe charge up the wheel a little bit. Yeah. So it's almost, it's almost six already? Oh, it is six. Okay, my friends. It's been about two hours, right? It's been about two hours, yeah? Has it been two hours? I don't know. There's a place for us somewhere. A place for us. Spaghetti. 105 minutes close. So indecisive. I know, man. The thing is, I don't know what's really around here until I just come across it. So, one hour and 50 minutes. Okay, guys, great time to reset the stream. Uh, all right, biznatches, fliptopians. It's been a beautiful, I'll end it off in this beautiful setting and then we'll restart in a second. Guys, thanks for joining me in this beautiful Praha experience. I will see you guys in about five minutes, okay? <laughs> I'm, gonna, I'm gonna end the stream and restart a new one. But then though, lovely fliptopians. We'll see you soon and if you're not gonna come back, it was lovely seeing your face, sort of. Ciao. Now it's Amanda and I. Bye.